guys, so today I'd like to share with you a review for BornPrettyStore.com. I chose some metal studs, and that's what they look like brand new in the package. And you can see there's a ton of them. They're really tiny little studs. I have them on my nails right now. They're really tiny. I don't remember the size. I'll put that in the description down below. And I got two different colors. I got the silver and I got the black. Um, I'm not sure how many pieces are in there, but it's a ton. Like, I did my nails with the black on all of them, and I still have a bunch left over. So, the amounts are really good. Um, the quality is really good on the ones that I tried. I will note that on the black ones, the color does come off. Um, so, what I did to prevent that from happening when I applied it, I just put top coat over the entire thing, and that prevented it from chipping off. So, and that didn't happen right away. It was, you know, after washing dishes and things like that. So, I just wanted to mention that real quick so that if you do pick some colored ones, that you apply a top coat over that so that it doesn't chip on you. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the tutorial. So what you're going to need is you're just going to need to paint your nails with a base color. I'm using gel polishes today. You can use any polish that you want. And so what you're going to want to do if you're using regular polish is you're going to want to take, you're going to want to put a couple coats of your polish down, make sure that that's completely dry, and then I would just take a top coat and that's what I would use to apply the actual studs. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using gel polish. That's what I used on my fingers. And that just gives me a chance to maneuver the studs without it drying on me too quick. But you can use whatever you like. So I just have my LED lamp here. And then I'm using a gel top coat. Um, any top coat of your choice will work. So I'm just going to go ahead and put down my top coat. And this does not... This does not dry out until you put it in the light. And then I'm going to be using an orange wood stick to apply that. So I just have that here. I'm just going to dip into the actual top coat that I have on there. And I'm going to start picking up my studs. And once you have all your studs in place, you're just going to go ahead and turn on your light if you're using a gel polish. Once that's had a chance to cure or your top coat has had a chance to dry, I would just go in with a second top coat, layer of top coat, and I would just cover the stones. And this is just to ensure that the color doesn't come up and that the stones are stuck on securely. Of course, you can skip this step if you want to. on. Like I said, the only issue I had was that some of the black did come off, but by putting a top coat on that, I stopped that and it wasn't a problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and as always, thank you guys for watching.